Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're with a new topic, the membrane potential. We're going to mention the things that determine the membrane potential. The membrane potential is determined by... The first thing is the resting membrane potential. It's also determined by the depolarization. And the action potentials. And also their propagation. It's also determined by the repolarization and finally the hyperpolarization. So now I'm going to draw a small graph that will make things clearer on these points. So in this graph, it's going to have vertically the membrane potential and the membrane potential is measured in millivolts and it will have horizontally the time and the time is measured in milliseconds. We'll start the graph from negative 20 and we're going to make a dashed line over here to make things clear for our graph. Okay. So usually in an action potential, the myocardial cell action potential starts at negative 70. When the action potential starts, it starts a curve which increases like this, called the depolarization. Then it's continued down by the repolarization. So this is the depolarization. And this is the repolarization then it's furthermore completed to hyperpolarization so this is hyperpolarization okay now this line over here from zero to the start is called the membrane potential difference. And it can be written like this. Okay. In this point over here, the membrane potential difference decreases and over here as we can see it's increasing okay so this was the membrane potential and things that determine the membrane potential and a small graph to make things easier understanding. Thank you very much and hope to see you soon again in the next video.